Hi, my name is TJ from bfittoday.co.uk. Today I'll be taking you through a few exercises for your glute muscles, so your butt. Lots of ladies always, you know, inquiring about what to do to, to improve on these areas and today we're going to help you out. Enjoy. Right, the first exercise we're going to show you is called the glute bridge. It works your hamstrings as well as your glute. The standard way of doing it is lifting your hips up, like so. You go back down slowly and you go up again. Continuously take it down. You could do up to 20 reps depending on what you're able to do. And you can progress by doing one leg. So you lift one leg up as you come up. You take it down. Make sure your feet are flat and you're engaging your core. So that's very, very important as a core exercise. Your hips have to go, your pelvis has to be pushed all the way up. You clench your, your butt cheeks, cheeks as you go up the top. Exactly. Just give us three more. Good. As you can see, she's moving nice and slow, nice and controlled. We're not rushing the movement. We've got all day. We really want to work those areas. And if you can change legs for me, do the same over there. We don't want your hands on the floor or supporting yourself because you want to completely isolate the muscle area. So all you ladies out there want to firm off your butt. This really gets your glute max, your hamstrings. It obviously works your quad muscles as well. However, it works more the posterior chain. Okay. Right now we're going to take you through a three exercise glute circuit. So it's really going to burn your, your glutes. Um, just be prepared for that. It's going to work it. First one is called the fire hydrants, which Claudia is going to show us right here. Good. You make sure your core is firm, your spine is neutral, and all that's moving is your leg, your hip. So you're isolating the area here, which is your glute mids, and it's really going to um, burn in that area. I'm just going to give us 10 reps, we're working on 10 reps here on this circuit. So nothing else is moving, the arms are not bending, they just stay nice and straight, and we're really, really focusing on that area. The next one she's going to go straight into is called the Chinese kick, so that's what I call it. Do the hydrant and then you kick. Same move, you really feel the burn up top here. So we're going for 10 reps again. The same concept, nothing moves. Isolate the area. Whichever muscle you're using, everything else shuts down. Perfect. Just really get it moving. Okay, after that, we're going to move on to the extenders. She's going to go in with her knees to her chest and then take it back and up. Hold it, there you go. Let's go straight again. So let's continue. So if we're keeping the, the isolation on those glutes, you want to get the shape. It doesn't come for free, you've got to put it working. Good stuff. That's all on one leg. No resting, no breaks. No time for water, you drink that after. Good. Feeling the burn there, at all? There you go. Perfect, keep going. Okay. Can we have one more? Alright, there you go. Alright, and then you move on to the next leg. And you make sure you don't have your, your, your back going in and out. So make sure it's completely engaged there. Perfect. As a beginner, you can potentially start with two sets. So you do three exercises of the glutes on one side, and go straight to the other side. Remember, they're all back to back, so no rest at all. And then you repeat the, the cycle. That's two sets. If that's too easy, you can progress to three sets, take a break. You can even do two sets of three. And I recommend doing it probably every day. If you can't do it every day, you can do it every other day. And after a period of time, you start to see the difference in the shape of your glutes and also the, the strength and conditioning. Thank you very much. Remember guys, it's essential that you warm up thoroughly before you start any workout. And for this routine, it's imperative you stretch thoroughly afterwards. We'll show you a few glute stretches uh, later on for you to incorporate to your workout. Thank you. Okay, here are a series of exercises, a series of stretches you can do for your glutes. So after a glute workout, it's important to really lengthen those muscles which you've shortened through the contraction of your muscles during the workout. So this is quite key to do. 
Um, you don't have to do all of them, but pick a couple that you can do. Hold for about 20 seconds, possibly 30 or more seconds, but minimum 20 seconds. Okay, let's go. Okay, the first stretch, have one leg straight, pick one leg up, put it across. Make sure you're sitting but flat on the floor or the mat. Left arm goes across to your right leg, so opposite arm, opposite leg. You pull it across, don't yank it, and just turn around, face the other direction. And you hold for 20 seconds minimum, upwards to a minute, depending on what you're comfortable with. You can sit in front of the TV and do the stretch. Just hold. It really gets you glutes. Next one we're going to do is you're laying on your back. Take one leg, put it across your knee, so it's a starting point, across your knee, put your hand in the back of your thigh, and pull up against yourself. Again, 20 seconds, upwards. Okay, another glute exercise you can do is, this stretches your hamstring muscles as well, so your glutes are linked to your hamstring. You have one leg flat on the floor, lift the leg up, and you can actually pull across like that. Okay, and it hits your glutes. And you just hold, relax your neck, keep the leg as straight as possible. You can hold it up top, you can hold it down here. And really engage this area. Again, hold 20 seconds upwards. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much, and see you soon.